And Elise, you had a graphic showing us those watches and warnings, and you mentioned storm surge alerts. Can you tell us a little bit more about what those are? Yeah, so storm surge is really, it is that that rise of water that is above and beyond what is uh, what we see with an astronomical tide, and it inundates an area. So it is just the day the storm surge alert is meant to call attention to this danger of life-threatening inundation from the rising water. And of course, the water is rising from the cyclonic action of this land falling in this case hurricane it is that wind pushing the water toward the shoreline and so that is why we see these alerts right now in Florida we have a storm surge watch that you see here in gray and a warning that you see here in hot pink so of course most of these are for the Gulf Coast uh, of Florida so that is what we're looking at right now and Elise, you know, we understand the storm surge alert system, that's only about five years old. So what's the backstory with that? Yeah, so basically what happened is we had a, a watches and warnings and other ways to visually alert people to things like wind and, of course, the tropical storm watches and warnings. So this was developed to help identify and visualize the areas most at risk. So people could take a look at a map and see with their eyes, okay, this is the area at risk of storm surge via a watch or a warning. And, you know, this is for tropical cyclones that affect the Gulf and the Atlantic coast. So those are the only areas that will uh, see these watches and warnings. And the reason why it's so important is because nearly half of all deaths associated with landfalling uh, cyclones are from storm surge flooding. So it really was imperative to figure out a way to have people take a look at a map and understand where they are and, and see how significant the threat of storm, storm surge flooding is. So that's the backstory on that. And with that, Mary, Alice, I'll send it back to you. Oh, interesting. Elise, thank you.